the entrance to the Ambassador Hotel. You can still see the parking sign up there. There's one that says hotel over there. So this was the driveway. I don't know what they've done with it, but this was the way you drive into the hotel. And across the street is the Gaylord. The HMS Bounty, across from the old Ambassador Hotel, which is now the Bobby Kennedy High School. We don't go down there anymore. There was a time when we did. Yeah, that's not good. But that's where the ambassador was, which takes up the same amount of space. That was the coconut grove in the beginning, in the front of it, that building. And the ambassador was shaped just like that. And they even have that round bit that had the clock on it. That's still there, actually. Can't really see it. And then uh, across the streets, the Gala. So we're not going to the Gaylord, although you'll see that in a minute. The Gaylord's a great old apartment building named for Gaylord Wilshire, <laughs> the street that we're on. So that's the entrance to the Gaylord in the great lobby, the great old sign. But we're here to see the Bounty, one of the best dive bars. I hate calling it a dive bar because it's almost disrespectful. But it's an original bar. It hasn't been changed. And it is... Uh, I don't know, I have a lot of affection for the bounty. Still a lot of regulars at the bar. A lot of hipsters, but they haven't fucked with it. Troy and I came to the bounty to meet up with terrific Terry Bolo, actress. Terry Bolo, formerly from Dearly Departed Tours, and our good friend James Bartlett, author of Gourmet Ghosts 1 and 2, and the true crime story, The Alaskan Blonde. And James is going to share with us some terrible history of the bounty and the Gaylord. Uh, oh, James, can you tell us a ghost story about the bounty? Oh, God. <laughs> You're on, babe. It's Terry Bolo. Hey, Terry Bolo and James Bartlett and Toro Bolo. Oh, yeah. Troy as well. So James is going to enthrall us with a ghost story about the bounty. Uh, yeah, there were a couple of uh, stories for here, although now I think about it, I think that it's more related to the, the Gaylord Hotel, which is attached. It's part of the... the the bar here is part of the hotel right next door called the Gaylord, which goes back to, I'm, I'm saying, the late 1920s. Um, but uh, it's actually more of a ghost slash uh, death story. Um, I talked to some people who, well, it was a lady who used to be the uh, building manager for the hotel, and she said that when she lived here, or, or lived there at the time, she would occasionally, over the years, she would hear a big thump on the uh, outside of the building, on the awnings outside, and it was people who jumped off the roof <laughs> and committed suicide. That's not funny. <laughs> I mean, that's not funny. That's not funny. There have been two or three of those. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones specifically for the bounty, but the, the bounty is well worth a visit if you've ever. Oh, it's wonderful it in here. It is great. Yeah. It hasn't changed it's, in forever. It's very old Hollywood, old LA.
Were you? Did you go to that uh, funeral for the ambassador here? No, but was I. It, were, but did I you? worked on. Um, no. I worked on um, RFK or with Brad Davis, and we filmed inside the, oh. the same. Inside room. the ambassador. Just before yeah. They were not, when they were knocking it down. Actually, it was way before. That. No, this is a Bobby. This, Bobby that, was no, out. I worked yeah. on Bobby as well, but this was with Brad Davis. Right. And uh, watching him up there. And giving the speech in the same in the very same spot. Yeah, it, it was like crazy. Yeah. When they uh, when they tore down the Ambassador Hotel across the street, they had a funeral for it in here, oh. and they lit up. They put lights out there and lit it all up. So it was just the ruin of it. Yeah. And Diane Keaton did a speech in the because uh, she was one of the people that was trying to to save it. And um, I'll do myself too. Just so. well, okay. <laughs> you know, I put you totally on the spot by doing that. No, I'll have to look things. it up. There, there is, there is, it is in the book. But I have mine um, about the bounty. Um, there was a great story that um, that I'm trying to write at the moment about the red-haired bandit queen. Uh, she was a girl called Lucille Walker. She was 19 years old, 19, 20 years old, and she and her boyfriend Alexander McKay, who's like 23, was Scottish. They did about 25 robberies in about a three-week period Whoa. in 1931 from Thanksgiving into early 1932. They did about 25 robberies, and one of them was at the Gaylord, which is here, which is this building. And they were caught, and she said, oh, no, no. I would, they totally dragged me into it, like Patty Hearst. Uh -huh. They dragged me into it. It was nothing to do with me. I didn't want to do with it. I just went along with him. And the boyfriend, Alexander McKay, he, when they went to court, said, yes, she had nothing to do with it. She was totally dragged along. Totally dragged along. Nothing to do with that. Despite being in the newspapers, showing how she wore different wigs. <laughs> and she loved how it. How funny. And she got off. She was, uh, she was found innocent. He went to prison for about five to seven years, I think, San Quentin. And then at San Quentin, there was a, a breakout, an attempted breakout, and a guy got killed. And this guy, Alexander McKay, was one of the escapees, got sentenced to be hanged. And because he was English or Scottish, he wrote to the king, uh, George VI, to see if he could get the sentence commuted, you know, put back to life imprisonment or whatever. But it didn't work. And he was hung at San Quentin. No kidding. But one of the ro ro robberies was here at the Gaylord. How it's cool. Cafes and uh, stores. Yeah, I was going to say, there were really fine stores here yes, at the time. Yeah. yeah. And you know the Gaylord is named for Gaylord Wilshire. Yes. The street is. Oh, I didn't even know that was That's his first good. name. Gaylord. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll definitely get some outside shots of it. And then I'll go through the lobby because they had a, like historic uh, yeah, stuff so out there. Yeah. Oh, a regular of the HMS Bounty was Dragnet star and creator Jack Webb, who also created the show Adam 12. And they have a plaque on one of the booths for Jack Webb because he'd come there after filming. As we mentioned, the Gaylord originally opened as a hotel. It's still a residential building. And inside the lobby are glass cases filled with artifacts and articles about the hotel's history.
James also mentioned that there have been ghostly appearances over the years. And one time on the eighth floor, actually, a son asked his mother, who's that lady by the elevator? And when the mother looked down the corridor, no one was there. A quick walk to the basement where various offices were, a barber shop, and currently where the restrooms and laundromat for the building are located. Thank you, Terrific Terry and author James Bartlett for sharing your time and stories with us. And thank you all for watching. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your attention. And until next time. You heard me.